The next subject is called the law of averages. The law of averages. It's so important to understand the law of averages. The law of averages in a personal sense is, is very simple. Here's what it says. If you do something often enough, you'll get a ratio of results. It's important for leaders to understand ratios. Because if you're working with people, you've got to have some charts. You've got to know ratios. You've got to be able to evaluate your own performance, their performance. Ratios. What do we mean by ratios? Well, let's say you're in sales. You join a company and you start representing the products or the service. And you're first getting started. You talk to ten people. Nine say, no, I wouldn't care for any. One says, yes, I'll take some. We call this your opening ratio. Now, one out of ten, it all depends on what you're involved with, whether or not that's a good ratio or a poor ratio. You say, well, that's not too good a ratio. Well, it all depends. Okay? But it's your opening ratio. So at first, you don't worry about what the numbers are. At first, you just get some activity going. Now, we call this very simply one out of ten. Now, here's what's very exciting about dealing in ratios. Once a ratio starts, it tends to continue. Now, this is some things leadership needs to know so that you're not frustrated. If you talk to 10 people, one says yes. If you talk to 10 more, chances excellent, you'll get another one. If you talk to 10 more, chances excellent, you'll get another one. It's uncanny. I don't even know how it works. All I know is it works. There's a lot of things you don't need to know how they work. Just work them. Right? A lot of people are studying the roots. Others are gathering the fruit. I mean, it depends on what end of this you want to get in on. <laughs> it just works. It's a fascinating subject. The law of averages. Okay? Now, once you know that your ratio pretty well is in there, one out of ten, now you can start to compete. It is so important to compete, to test your skill against someone else's skill. What someone else can do is a pretty good insight in if you stretch what you might be able to do. So competition is a very healthy thing. Now, you've got to be very smart here. If you've been with this company, let's say, a long time, and you've been there so long, you're so good, you can get nine out of ten, and I just joined, and I can only get one out of ten, if we have a 30-day contest as to who can get the most to say yes to our product or service, if we have a 30-day contest, you and me, even though I can only get one out of ten, I will win. You say, well, I've been here a long time. I can get nine out of ten. How could you possibly beat me? It would be very simple. Now, it might not be easy, but it would be very simple. During the 30 days, since I understand now these ratios... During the month, while you talk to 10 and get 9, I will talk to 100 and get 10. So that at the end of 30 days, you got 9, I got 10, I beat you. Isn't that clever? <laughs> Let me give you a scenario here. If you're bright, what you do if you're new, you make up in numbers what you lack in skill. This is called helping people with the numbers, helping people with ratios. Someone says, well, I can only get 1 out of 10. Say, that's got nothing to do with competition. Now, after 30 days, I may be fairly exhausted. But see, I'm pretty good for a 30-day run. One is I don't sleep much for 30 days. About four hours sleep is all I need for 30 days. Now, I got to back off after 30 days. I'll admit that. But for 30 days, I can go on four hours sleep. Now, see, it's hard to beat somebody that won't sleep. How are you going to, how are you going to beat somebody? <laughs> About one hour a day for nutrition. That's all I need. One meal a day, one hour a day for nutrition. In 30 days, how, how are you going to beat somebody that won't eat? <laughs> won't eat, won't sleep. Uh, the answer is, it's hard. It's hard, even if they're new. But if the new person is so clever to make up in numbers what they first lack in skill, I'm telling you, you can compete even though you're new. The key is to be bright enough to understand ratios. Here's the next clue. Ratios can be increased. You talk to 10, get one. Talk to 10, get one. Talk to 10, get one. Talk to 10 more, get two. Why would about the fourth time you talk to 10, you get two instead of one? You're getting better. Key question, who can get better? Answer, anybody who tries. All you got to do is put together the numbers. Right? Your brain is as good as anybody else's. Your chances are as good. All you got to do is find a way to put out the extraordinary effort to do an ordinary thing extremely well. Ratios. Success is a numbers game. It's important to keep track of your numbers. In baseball, we call it batting average. 
whatever you're doing, the key is to keep track of your success and how good you are at whatever. Someone says, well, I'm not very good on the telephone. I'll tell you how you can quickly cure all that is get on the telephone. I'm telling you, you can get better at anything. All you've got to do is attempt it and try it and start putting a string of numbers together and keeping track and understand your own ratios. I teach a very simple sales course. Let me give it to you in three points. Number one, talk to lots of people every day. It's a simple sales course. Number one, talk to lots of people. Isn't that simple? It's a numbers game, especially if you're new. And here's what's exciting. There's lots of people. <laughs> You don't have to worry about people. So just talk to lots of people, even if your presentation is very poor. If you put the numbers together, I'm telling you, something will happen. If your presentation was so poor, you went around every day saying to everybody you could meet, you wouldn't want to buy anything, would you? Sure enough, somebody's going to say, well, maybe I would. What are you selling? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just about that simple. If you put the numbers together, if you talk to lots of people every day, two things will happen. Number one, you're bound to make sales. I'm telling you, some people buy for the strangest reasons. <laughs> hey, some people buy out of sympathy for the salesperson. I'm telling you, you can find some people that'll buy out of sympathy. They don't want to see your kids starve. I'm telling you, if you'll talk to enough people, some people will buy out of sympathy. So part of success is, you know, look pitiful to enough people, right? <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody will buy. And why, why? It's because of ratios. It's because of numbers.